Hi everyone, it's Brian. In this video, I wanted to review this book, Calculus Early Transcendentals, the seventh edition by Edwards and Penny. I don't know if they've made a newer edition at this point. This is the one that I used when I took my first three semesters of calculus in college. Uh, you can see I really have used this book a lot. There's a lot of wear and tear on it. I did get it used. It was pretty expensive when I got it used. I bought it at the university bookstore, which I guess I now know I wouldn't do. I'd probably buy all my textbook through Amazon. But um, let's take a look at this thing. So when you first open it up, one thing I like about this book is that it has all of the basic geometry, algebra, trig formulas. It's got this huge table of integrals, which uh, sometimes you'll use and maybe sometimes you won't. And as far as what this book covers, it covers everything you would expect from three semesters of calculus, right? It talks first about functions and graphs, um, a little introductory about calculus, and then it talks about, you know, the big things, derivatives, applications of the derivative, antiderivatives, integrals, application of integrals, harder techniques of integration, like integration by parts, trig sub, partial fractions. It has a nice chapter on uh, differential equations, um, where you can use your techniques of calculus, like power series, to solve simple differential equations, um, maybe before you get to a real differential equations class. Nice chapter on polar and parametric curves. And then, of course, all the chapters on series, sequences and series. There's vector calculus, so vectors. And uh, in Calc 3, you would learn about partial derivatives, partial integrals, multiple integrals. And at the very end is the vector calculus section, so the big, big theorems of, like, Stokes' theorem and divergence theorem. So it has everything that you would learn and expect from a real calculus class. It has the things that I like about a textbook, that the important things it highlights or uh, bolds. It has lots of examples. So at this level in your math career, you're probably not comfortable uh, learning the subject from a textbook. You would probably want this book to accompany you in a class with an instructor and you could follow along. But if you really wanted to, you could teach yourself calculus from this book. I mean, you could, you could look at theorems, you could look at many examples, you know, it seems like there's multiple examples for each important topic, and then you could move on to the exercises. There's tons of exercises in this book. I think every section probably has more than 50 examples or uh, exercises. And some of them get really hard. I'm, I'm sure that there's some in here that I probably can't do. <laughs> Uh, there's a there's a few proofs in this book. You don't need the proofs, right? At this point, you really don't need to necessarily be able to do proofs or understand proofs to be successful at calculus. Um, this this book really does have it all. I, I like it. I still use this book for my videos. Um, it's sort of a timeless classic to me. <laughs> I'm sure many people have their own favorite calculus book, but to me, this is my favorite. Uh, there's really, I can't find anything wrong with it. I don't even think I've ever found a typo in it, and I'm sure there is, but I've never been able to find one. It does a nice job of coloring some things. I mean, it even has, you can see here, some really nice three-dimensional graphs in here. Now, you don't get that too many, with too many books, unless you have some something newer. Uh, there's maybe another calculus book I would recommend. Um, the one that Penn State uses uh, for their curriculum is very good. Uh, but this one, you really can't go wrong. If, you, if you're looking for a calculus textbook, this is, this is probably one of the two that I would recommend. Um, so if you're interested in exploring this one any further, I'll put a link in the description. You can check it out for yourself. Uh, I hope this was a fun video for you. Maybe you learned about a new book you haven't seen before. Thanks very much for watching, and have a great day. Bye.